Alrighty, good morning fellas. As you can see, absolute cracker of a day. We're getting ready to head out to the range. I want to show you guys something. I want to answer a question that one of my Patreons asked us. Oops, too much stuff in the bag. <laughs> that was a bad one. Um, I want to answer a question that one of you guys asked on Patreon. Let me figure out how to get this shut. Okay, see you at the range. That's just wasting ammo. Feels like home. Guys, in today's video, I want to answer a question from one of our Patreon guys. And he asked, Pete, I've got access to a range now. How do I actually go about training? Do I shoot full 10 round stages? Or what is sort of the best use of my time and money when I actually go to the range? Now, the little rifle I'm shooting behind me, you guys would have noticed in that opening sequence that I was shooting both a muzzle brake and a suppressor or a silencer. Now, I was shooting the Raptor muzzle brake to start things off. I thought, hey, it's such a beautiful morning with the backlit, you know, sunrise. Let me get some shots of me shooting the muzzle brake and then I switched it out to the Warbird so I can show you guys just how well I'm able to track the recoil uh, with that. So if you're heading hunting in South Africa and you wanna pick up the best suppressor available, the Warbird suppressor is gonna be linked down below. As well as the other countries, hit up your gun shops. Let's get that Warbird out to you. Sorry for the guys in America, but that might change coming soon. Uh, anyway, so without further ado, what I like to do when I come out to the range is obviously shoot. Now, you need to have a plan with everything because if you just go out to the range and you know you shoot 10 round stages till your heart's content or until your wallet's content, you might not learn a lot. So what I like to do, I like to, and this is what I mentioned in my um, Q&A video too, I like to break it down into bite-sized chunks. So for example, one of the things that I find is such a good skill, and we're sticking obviously to the precision rifle genre here, the best skill that I found helps me a ton is finding your targets really quickly. So that can be something that you can start working on. And I'm gonna show you guys an example of just how I like to do that. Now, one of the biggest advantages you can give yourself when shooting precision rifle is finding your targets easy. That just buys you so much more time to do all the other stuff you need to do. So one of the things that I like to do is square my hips up to the target and I'm gonna practice repeatedly and here you don't even have to shoot. That's why I have no ear protection and no mag. Just put your bag down, rinse and repeat. Make sure that when you point your rifle towards your target and you put your face on the gun, that target should be in your field of view. So that's the one thing that I'm gonna practice really quickly with this drill and it's a nice little warm up drill, if you will, when you go out training. Boom, I was literally off the side of the target. So I'm gonna do that a few times here and then refine maybe, pick different targets. And you, the beautiful thing about this, you can do this at home on the target because you can aim at whatever, no mag, nothing, just make sure you're not flagging anybody, but you don't have to shoot to practice this ability just to acquire your target quickly. Now in this example, once I've sort of worked on that, I've got my target acquisition down, I'm actually gonna start engaging steel. Now my goal is gonna be, you know, when I first started shooting, I saw these guys getting their first rounds off in like 15 seconds. And I was fiddling about for like 25 seconds before firing my first round. 
So then I set myself a goal and I've actually got videos of this. I'll try and find them and overlay them where I went to the range with a timer and I put everything up and I was like, okay, Pete, let's see if you can fire one round under 15 seconds. Now, 15 seconds might sound like a short time, but in fact, it is an eternity um, when it comes to a 90 second precision rifle stage. So I'm going to start over here and put 15 seconds on the clock. I'm going to build my same position, make sure that when I put my face on the gun, I'm, I have my target in my field of view. Close the bolt, focus on my breathing, good trigger press. All right, three, two, one. Looking at the target the whole time. Rifle on, I'm going to square up my hips, everything. Time is still running. Face on the gun, I'm on my target. Close my bolt, focus on my breathing, recoil control, and... Okay, so 15 seconds is a long time. So then I was like, okay, now let's try to do 10. So, same story, obviously in a precision rifle match, you may start a little bit further back, like something like this. Put 10 seconds on the clock. Now things have got to go a little bit quicker. So three, two, one. I'm going to work out my steps that I'm kind of in my same position. Same thing, close my bolt on my target, didn't feed, close my bolt and... Okay, 10 seconds, still very doable. Let's see if we've still got ammo in there. Then, once I got that done, I'm obviously giving you guys the fast version of this. I spent weeks, if not months, refining this. And you don't have to do this with your centerfire rifle. This is a great, great thing to use a 22 rimfire for. Now, after I got that down and I was confident, I was like, okay, what if I could build a position in any type of position? This is obviously a standing position, so I'm getting to that position a little bit quicker. But if I was going to go kneeling, I would sort of practice that stuff too. And then I was, okay. If you could fire two rounds from the back there, build a position, get two rounds down on target, that should buy you a whole lot of time for the rest of the stage. Obviously, you wanna make sure these are good rounds. So, let's see if we still got this. Haven't done this in a while. Okay, so this is our starting point. New timer on, and once, I hope I've got two rounds in this mag, but let's see. Otherwise, I'm just gonna go for that second dry fire. Three, two, uh, gonna have to hustle a little bit here. <laughs> Let's start over. Three, two, one, go! Alright, boom, boom, target. Okay, I'm empty, but okay, I'm gonna grab a fresh set of ammo and I'll BRB. Okay, let's try that again, shall we? Right, 10 seconds on the clock. Mag in, a bit further back. And three, two, one. That's just wasting ammo. So guys, as you can see, I honestly don't overthink it. I do spend a little bit of time thinking about what I need to work on. But when I come to the range, I don't like just donating ammo. Ammo is expensive, my time is valuable. So when I come to the range to train, I try and make the most of that time. And you can too by just figuring out what kind of stuff is generally a weakness for you. Now there's many ways you can do that. I like keeping old matchbooks and spotting trends, what kind of obstacles I bleed points on. And ironically enough, I try, or not try, <laughs> I lose the most points on the prone stages. So that's why I also shoot some long range matches so that we can keep working on those skills. I want to thank MDT, Modular Driven Technologies, for sponsoring today's video. I was shooting the ACC with the Baker wings. It gives me so much control on my rifle and obviously the ACC tracks straight back, which helps a ton when it comes to putting follow-up rounds on target. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. One thing to note, please make sure we share these with our mates, share them on Facebook groups for Precision Rifle and such. Because lately with all the shootings that has happened in the world, obviously our condolences go out to everybody that's been affected by this. It's Words cannot describe the state of our world. But as a result of that, it does seem like the tap has been sort of tightened a little bit on the gun channels and our videos aren't doing as well as they used to. So make sure we bypass that by always leaving a comment, liking the video and sharing them with your mates. And if you're not subscribed already, what are you doing? Get in it. It's free. You can always unsubscribe later when, I don't know why you would, but you could if you wanted to. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.